I'm Jeanette Chung. Join me as I talk with Barry B. Benson. Tonight, he'll reveal the inside scoop behind the honey crisis. All the action, the intrigue, the lawless abandon. Tonight, I bring you the inside story behind the inside story. Right here, right now, I'm Jeanette Chung. And we're back. Barry, I... What was that? What? All that conspiracy stuff? Kind of over the top, isn't it? I mean, lawless, abandoned? It's about ratings, Barry. But I didn't even mention that stuff until tonight. Where, where would you get the footage? It's the magic of television. Anyway, back to your story. Barry, for the average lay bee, explain what legal issues were at play here. Well, the thing with humans is they have a lot, and I mean a lot, of laws. Bees only have six laws. Seven if you count no honey on Saturdays. Most bees don't. Only orthodox bees. Right. So there's a lot of legal red tape to get through. You mean that tape that humans hang from ceilings to catch bees and kill them? I mean metaphoric red tape, although that other stuff is diabolical. So, what happened next? Well, while the trial started to heat up, things really began to cook with my investigation. Conspiracy! Yes. Please go on. Oh, boy. All right, so this is where humans keep their food. We're here to collect evidence. Why so many boxes? How many different kinds of food can they have? What the heck are cookies? There are a thousand different flavors. For humans, variety is the spice of life. I thought honey was the spice of life. For bees it is. If you're a human, it's variety and something called paprika. Let's split up. You go this way, I'll go that way. Santa Maria! Hello? Yeah, it's me, Hector. I'm at the supermarket. The bee is here. See, the one from the trial. What do I do? Calm yourself, man. You gotta learn to keep your head. I'm through messing around with this bee. I'm sending over the big guns. Remember, move quietly, stay in the shadows. The element of surprise is our greatest weapon. All we have to do is... Hey B, you're in big trouble now. My boss just sent the leanest and meanest to mess you up. I better think of something. No way am I gonna let them stop me from finding that evidence. The bee must be contained. We gotta turn around. I guess you can't spell steel without T E A. Smile, bee. You're on camera. Nice try. We never fail. Honey shampoo? No more tears, my eye. Failure is not an option. Smile, B. You're on camera. Stay alert! Failure is not an option. Gotcha! Smile, B. 
You're on camera! These spuds are duds. We never fail! Smile, V. You're on camera! Go to stealth mode! The mission will be completed. Failure is not an option. Smile, B. You're on camera. The mission will be completed. The mission will be completed. No one loves honey more than I do, but even I don't rub it all over myself. Stay alert! Smile, B! You're on camera! Stay alert! It's got... Hey, B, say hello to your little friend. Barry, help! Adam, I'm coming! Okay, that's enough. Let's see just how much your friend likes you. Honey, and a toy inside? That's gonna be sticky. Other side! Tick-tock, B! Flank the beast position. Did you know glass doesn't let much air in? We never fail. Stay alert. Barry, I have no lives to give for my country. Help me! It's getting hard to breathe. Failure is not an option. Watch the wings! It's getting hard to breathe. Hey, B! How long do you think your friend can hold his breath? Go to stealth mode. Adam, are you all right? I'm good. But I've got to tell you... Slow down. Breathe. Okay, stay put until I can find us a way out of here. Uh, Barry, I found it. I was using the scanner and I found it. What? Y you know how all roads lead to the hive? Well, there's something funny about these honey shipments. They're not coming in, they're going out. All to one place. And I found it. Hey, B. 
I think maybe I smell you. I think you need a shower. You know you can learn a whole lot from those nature shows on TV. For example, I just learned that bees cannot fly when they're wet. Stay here, I've got a score to settle. Hey, buddy, it's me again. I wish I could go out there with you more often, but since that last incident at the supermarket, my enthusiasm is all but sold out. Looks like you have a handful of jobs now. Bet your employers are expecting you. Shouldn't you pay them a visit? You've still got a good job waiting for you. 